Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on using markers on your soundtrack, on your music soundtrack, to pace your editing. So I've got a new sequence open with nothing in it and in my audio bin over here I have my soundtrack which is Another Night Goes By by my good friends Brian and Ruth Bennett. You can find out from them at www.aloftstudios.co.uk If I double click on the icon I bring in in my source panel my music and let's have a very brief listen to that. If I just go a bit further on so you can get a feel for how it develops. A little bit further on just here. So the soundtrack itself has really got three sections um, and we're going to use the beat of this soundtrack to determine where our cuts are going to be between each individual track. Now I'm not going to do many, I just want to give you the principle. It really helps if you have a sense of rhythm when you do this because if you don't have a sense of rhythm you're going to get your cuts all over the place. So as it plays along I'm going to hit the asterisk key at the top of my number pad on my keyboard every time I feel there's a place or a beat where there should be a cut. Now there are two types of editing. One is editing on the beat and one is editing off the beat. Editing on the beat gives a nice safe sense. It reassures your viewer that uh, everything's right with the world. But if you're doing something that's a bit edgy or a bit scary or a bit dark, actually what you want to do is mark the beats but do your cuts off the beat so that they don't know quite when it's going to happen and they feel a little bit more on edge, not quite sure what's going on. But either way, you want to mark your beats so you know what's happening. So let me do a few just to demonstrate. Um, incidentally, if they're not too good, that's simply because with my recording set up for this tutorial, I can't really hear the music very well, so I'll just do my best. Now that's going to go on all the way through till this next section with these types of on the beat cutting. But when we get to this section the beats slightly change and it's actually very valuable to note where the beats are because you might want to add extra cuts in where there's extra beats. So let me just play this through and you'll see what I mean. And as you can see, you've got groups of three, which give you extra editing points. Okay, so I've put my markers in, let's assume they're all the way through, and I want to put it onto my timeline. If I just click the insert or overlay, it's going to put it here on track one. Um, if I wanted to go on track two, I could target it by selecting the track and then right clicking in this section here and go assign source A1 and then click the insert and there it goes, it's down in that place there. That's a little bit of a faff for me, so I'm going to control Z, I'm going to undo that and just untarget the track just by clicking on it and then take it back to assign source one to my track here. And I just want to drag it down really. And you can drag it either by clicking on this bar at the bottom, which you can pull it down with, or you can pull it down just with a speaker icon. Drag it and put it down on the track you want it to be. And there you will see are my markers telling me precisely where I want my cuts to be if it's a nice friendly video or where I don't want my cuts to be if it's edgy, a horror, something that's just not quite right with the world. Uh, just before we move on from here, just show you these markers. They aren't immovable. If you really need to move these markers, you've got them in the wrong place, or well, you can simply pull them and drag them and move them wherever you want them to be. You won't change them down here on the timeline, but if I pull another version down, to say audio track 3 and let go you'll see that there's the marker so you need to change them before you pull them down to the timeline 
or else you'll find that the markers don't move. So let me just delete that one. So when it comes to editing, it's simply a case of choosing your clips. So I'll go to my video bin and just open a couple. There's a clip, doesn't matter what it is. Click and drag it in, it's far too long. So what I might do is a very rough cut, pull them down, and as you see, they'll snap. They'll snap to your markers. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. If you have this icon enabled, as it is here, it is a snap icon, you'll find that these items want to snap. You see the snap and that black line appears to the right place. So I can pull in another one, great surf, I don't know what we've got here, pull it down. And then I could snap it, pull it down and snap it. And I could pull in multiple clips and that gives me a very rough cut. I might want to put transitions and goodness knows what else. But I've got the markers, the markers tell me exactly where the beat is on the music. It tells me where I really want to have cuts if it's nice and safe or where I definitely don't want cuts if it's anything but safe. And it saves me a lot of time having to try and work it in my own mind roughly where these things are going to be. So I advise you, if you know you've got a soundtrack, get the soundtrack into your source monitor, put your markers in and go for it. My name's Andrew Davis and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.